Last two games have very heavy playoff implications. Um, two very disappointing losses. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even sure what to ask. Just, what do you think of the state of the Magic right now? Going into, you know, we we do have a good home stretch. We do have an easy schedule. But what do you guys think, playoff wise, these games mean to us? I'm not stressing. I don't have any expectations this year. Next year is when it starts. <laughs> <laughs> just have to win the East. We got to get out of it. We got to get a hang another banner. I just want a playoff win. That's all I want. Playoff win. Let's, let's make the playoff. I, I think we got playoff. hope for this season. No, I mean, like a four spot. Oh, four I mean, we're spot. making the playoffs. I just want one playoff win next year is when the real expectations just start. finish the season. Just finish it. I mean, where do you guys want the Magic to finish? What, do you, what, what playoff series do you want to see? I want to play the New York Knicks in the playoffs. That's what I want. And we want home court advantage. Yeah, I, I don't care where I want Fire anyone. Coach Mosley. Hey, no, chill with right, that. Chill, on, bro. <laughs> chill with that. Are you serious? Hey, hey, that's, that's the boy. Hey. He's a developing coach, but he's not a winning coach. Our lineups are trash. We need to have better lineups. Paulo's playing iso ball. Bron's playing iso ball. Why are we not playing team ball? We lost to a team because we were playing iso ball. Markel, we're out tonight. Markel's not even starting. Markel's been trash since he came back this whole year. Let's be real. We need a point guard. We need a point guard on this team. I ride with Mosley. I say it every single night. I say that we need a point guard. We're getting Reed Shepard. We're trading up in the draft. We're taking Reed. I'll take anything right now because right now we're a play. We're a playing team right now. We're a playing team. But let's chill with the Mosley. We love Mosley. My God, he developed us. I loved him for development. Not for winning. We love Moses. Frank Vogel, oh, not Frank Vogel, uh, Rick Carlisle, out coached us. Tom Thibodeau, out coached us. We only beat sub 500 teams. Let's be honest with ourselves. Stop lying. We want to win, right? Let's win. Good get a good point, coach good and get a new coach and a point guard. We'll be straight. Right. It's Jameer Nelson. Jameer, bring back Jameer Nelson. Bring back Jameer. Bring back Jameer. Bring back Jameer. Bring back Jameer. Hi, Janine. How are you? Well, I'd be better if we won. Uh, so would I. Yeah. I think all of us would. I know. Um, anyway. Very disappointing. Disappointing. I was, you, you, you took the words out of my mouth. Very, game. very, very disappointing. The last two games. Yes. New York um, was worse. Yes. But those two games have playoff implications. Correct. Um, just how confident are you in our guys to turn it around? And who do you want to see in a playoff series? So I'm very confident they can turn it around. I believe in this team. I still believe in this team. They've overachieved what any of us would have expected at the beginning of the season. Um, and who would I like to see? Not the Heat. <laughs> <laughs> not the Heat. <laughs> not the Knicks. I would like to see the Bucks. I think I think every Magic fan says that we don't want to see the no, Heat. No, <laughs> we don't want to see the Heat. I would go for the Bucks yeah. if I had my choice. Yeah. 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 Why not? Why not? A good matchup. I want to see them make a playoff series. I honestly don't care who they play, even Boston. Expose all the flaws, and then let us see what happens. I love that. I love yeah. that. Obviously, again, two disappointing games, but we we still love our boys. Love them. Plenty of season left. Right. We still have. We're still neck and neck with Indiana. Yep. New York. And you know Miami lost tonight too. And they. Miami lost tonight. Miami lost tonight. For the Wizards. That's At all. least we lost oh, the playoff the, team. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Heat gave the Wizards their 10th win tonight? Yes, they did. Or oh, their 11th. my God. Anyway, they lost to the Wizards. You heard it here. Oh, it was the 11th win. Yeah. Oh, two in a row for the Wizards. Anyways, Janine wants to see the Bucks. Yep. We don't want to see the Heat. Right. We're still not going to make – we're not playing in the play-in. Go no. Magic. Go Magic. <laughs> so – Two extremely disappointing losses. I mean, unfathomable losses to the Knicks and the Pacers. How confident are you guys going into the rest of the season and into the playoffs? Number one. And number two, who do you guys want to see in a playoff matchup? You want to answer it first? No, you go first. Me? I mean, I'm so confident as always, but I mean... You can't let the rest get in your head. We like physical games, but we just don't like physical games when the calls aren't going our way, apparently. But, I mean, you just got to put your head down, drive to the basket. I mean, that was embarrassing the last two nights. You, you can You can tip your hat off to New York for hitting shots and stuff, shooting 50% from three. But, man, we got to just 
have some pride in our defense, get back on defense, it's embarrassing. It was embarrassing tonight all around for Moses rotations, Palos attitude. I mean, that's our superstar in the man's freaking walking down the court and stuff after a missed basket. So, dude's got to wake up. Come on, man, we need you to be our all-star. This crowd was embarrassing tonight, too. You had a packed house, and it was dead up until the last couple minutes when the game was virtually over. My confident wavers throughout the whole season. Um, I've always interviewed on here after Magic wins, but never after a Magic loss. And just to be frank and just to be honest, they're disappointing losses, yes, but at the, at the same time, these are learning curves that the Magic got to go through in order to get to the postseason because obviously that's the main goal here for the season. But, um, you know, you like to win these games at home versus a team that you handled on their home court, but you come back home, and like Jonathan said, it was a lackluster performance. The crowd was really into the game. When they started getting into it, the Magic just made too many turnovers. So it's a hard, it's a hard loss, not a heartbreak loss, but we'll bounce back from it. I'm ready for Brooklyn come Wednesday. That's Wednesday, yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. And um, I've been telling everybody, and I hope everybody in Orlando feels the same, but I want the Miami Heat in the first round. That's the only way that the Orlando as a city and as a fan base that we'll be able to gain respect and honor and dignity that we deserve as a team. We haven't showed it for many years in the playoffs in the past, and we haven't showed it during times of rebuild, but I think if we can get the heat, even if the, even if we win, we lose, if it's a close series, if not, it'll show that we're back. But other than playing the heat in the playoffs, I'm also ready for Kanye West to drop Vultures too. Kanye, <laughs> Kanye hurry up and drop the album, Kanye! I'm tired of waiting! The funny thing is, I literally just got done with my last interview, and we said we don't want to see the heat at all. <laughs> Nah, we need that. We need to see the heat. Even if they sweep us and kick our ass every game, we need to see that physicality because these guys got to know what it comes to to win a championship. So, digging deep, digging deep. Play the best. Palo, Bronze, they're our stars. They got to act like it tonight. They didn't have it. Don't matter if you're six for twenty. You got to play like you want it. Well, two disappointing losses. Not much to talk about here. We got a home um, stand coming up. Bounce back. We got a big home stand coming up. Yes. Still have a very easy schedule. Go Magic. Go Man. Magic. Beat the Nets, please. I hate Mikel Bridges. Mikel, if you watch this, you're overrated. Stick to the script and stick to Chipotle and 2K because you're a scrub. First off, let me say six man. Six man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. First of all, Magic need to move the ball. Magic need to move the ball. They need, they, they, they need to go for singles. Stop trying to shoot the three point at every point. When you get the ball and you steal the ball, take a moment. Gather yourself. Move the ball. Three touches. Three touches. Not five. Not one. Three touches. That's how many you need before you shoot the ball. Everybody go home and watch Hoosiers. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. You just, you just, the ISO stuff is not working. I love you, Paolo. You're amazing. You don't need to do everything yourself. Move the ball. Move the ball. Come on. Six man. That's the theme of the night. Six man. Move the ball. Watch six man. Nice to see you again, brother. Nice to see you. Two disappointing losses to the Knicks and the Pacers. Oh, yeah. Obvious, obvious playoff implications between these two games. We didn't show out. How confident are you in this team going forward? And, um... Who, I guess, who, who do you want to see in the playoffs? Uh, honestly, the team we played tonight, we would whoop them in the playoffs. Absolutely would whoop them. The Pacers? Oh, yeah. Love to see the Pacers. Love, love a rematch between this game. I think this will do nothing. These two last two losses will do nothing but fire this team up to go on another winning streak. Speaking of winning streaks, we've gone on two pretty good streaks. We started, the, obviously, the 9-0. Nine, the nine and oh. Get out of here! Boo! We went on an incredible win streak to, to start the season with nine games. Uh, we went on a, what was it, a, was it a four-game win streak? Five-game Five win streak? Five-game Five Five. win streak. Um, we have a nice home stand. We still have an yeah. easy schedule. Um, yeah. I, I guess I could ask you, where do you think the Magic place? Like, what is our, what, what do you think our seeding is, and what do you think our record is? Four or five. I think we'll finish somewhere around there. If we're lucky, possibly three. And if we're unlucky, possibly six. But avoiding the play-in tournament is what matters. Definitely avoiding the play-in tournament. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be a part of that. Yeah. Not at all. 
Well, all we can look forward to is Brooklyn yeah. uh, on the 13th. Um, we definitely got to win that one. Yeah. And um, as always, go Magic. Go Magic. Um, obviously, two back-to-back -back disappointing losses against teams that are we're all neck and neck. Yeah. Um, but disappointing... These, Disappointing and standings. Yes. But not learning lessons. No, yep. these are the type of games that we need. Oh, yeah. To Those learn. are two back to back playoff games. Absolutely. These are teams that are, we're going to face either the first round or the second round, either this year or next year. So they got to get used to it. You know, they're playing two games for the price of one right now. They, they had the first half, they blew the second half. So you got to play from beginning to end. And when they finally get that under control, then they'll definitely be a playing team going for some distance, not just for showing up and saying goodbye in the first week. Yeah, totally agree. Um, so I, I, to speak to that, you've been a lifelong Magic fan. Um, the way that this team is 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 currently built, where do you see them seeding, and and what? Who do you want to see in the playoffs? Well, if it was real season, we'd be a playing team because everybody else has fallen on their face. What Philly's been doing for us has been great. What yeah. New York did for us for about a week and a half was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. So four or five, I don't care if we get home court advantage or we don't, but four or five is our sweet spot because we're about equal with that other team. If we fall seven or eight, we're out in five, four or five, six games. We're not gonna make it past one winning game. Yeah. So we need to hit that four or five and play that New York or Miami. The, the, those are the two teams that we can play six, seven games straight with and say, okay, we had a chance, we didn't make it, or we did make it, but we play, you know, we fall back to seventh or eighth and we play Boston or Milwaukee, break out the brooms, man, because they're going to be <laughs> sweeping us down the street, son. Yeah. It's going to be ugly. Unfortunately. So, we, yeah, we got to try to shoot for that four or five somewhere in there. That's the only way we can manage to – stay competitive in the first round or possibly squeak into the second round. Totally agree. Although we had two bad losses, this is not the end of the end oh, of times. No. This is the beginning. This, this is, is the, the beginning. beginning of the journey. This is the beginning of the journey. Oh. We're very proud of our boys. We oh, love yeah. our boys. Absolutely. They're growing. They're Let's showing. Let's go magic. Let's go magic. Let's go magic. Yes, sir. Get on it. Get on it. Yes, sir. What's Bring up, out man? the chain. Yo, we got both for the Wagners. You heard? We still popping. We going to the playoffs. It ain't nothing, and we coming for the kill. You heard? Yes, sir. Yeah. We coming for the kill. Hey, who do you want to see in the playoff series? Series? Man, we going straight to the finals. <laughs> it don't matter. I ain't worried about the playoffs. <laughs> Yo, this is love. You heard? Orlando Strong, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Hey, you heard the man. Straight to the finals. Straight up. We going. Under yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got old Blakey Poo. I'm here. Um, two extremely tough losses to pass two games. Knicks blowout, Indiana blowout. I'm sorry um, to I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I feel like that we are we are playing the the players that we need to play. We're doing good. We're doing good. I love that we're playing Franz. And, and Mo and we're playing uh, Black. I love that. I love that. I love that we're playing the players. Like, we lose, we lose. But we're playing the players. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but the last time I was on here, I I was bitten. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was crying. And uh, we're playing the players. And um, this, ha this happens. We lose. We lose to good players or good teams like this, and I'm, I'm really happy. Like, I really am happy, like, losing to teams like this because we grew we're up. playing. Yeah, we're growing. We're playing the players we play. Yeah. I really I really am happy. Like, I don't I, – I, like, I love that the way that we're, like, really, like, playing the players. I, I really do love this. So. He might be the only guy that's happy after two ass whoopings. Like, I know. I really am. <laughs> yeah. I really am because we're playing the players, which I cried about. And um, we're a team, and that's all that matters. That's all that cares to me. I've been a Magic fan for 20 years. I'm very happy with the players we're playing. So with the two, the two performances that we've had the last two games, obviously those are playoff-type games. These are big games. These are huge games. Are, did you see anything from our two, our two stars, uh, Franz and yes, Paul? Did yes, you see yes. anything? Yes, I did. That would give you confidence in a playoff series, or did you think that we were kind of falling flat? I did see from the, our two players, they, they, they always perform, but um, we don't have Suggs, and Suggs is a big part of our defense. Um, we give limited minutes to 
How many how many players do we give Lemon Miz to? Uh, how many? Tell me. <laughs> Brother, Anthony Black, Mo Wagner, people that are difference makers. We just we I give Lemon Miz to. Well, then it leads me to my next question is. And this has been a question tonight. This has definitely been a question it's been tonight. A great question tonight. Is Mosley fit to lead this team forward? Yes, yes. Yeah, he is. I think he is. I just think that we have injury issues. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of of um, what's his name there, Markel. Markel anymore. I don't think he fits the team anymore. Um, I think that we are putting the players in positions to win the games now, and. Uh, We'll see going forward in the playoffs. We're going to make the playoffs. If we don't make the playoffs, oh, my God. We're going to make the playoffs. We're going to make the playoffs. We're going to make the playoffs. But the, play the players, we know who's doing what they're doing, and we know who's not. So going forward, um, we'll, go f we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So Game at a time. Yeah, game at a time. Game at a time. Very well said. Game at a time. We got our ass whooped, but uh, go Magic, baby. I love the Magic. Go Magic, baby. My boy. My dog Robert, two very disappointing losses for the Magic. Blown out by the Knicks, blown out by the Pacers. But still somehow, standing out here, the future's bright. It is. What can you say about the way that this team has developed? And I guess, what do you think the lessons that they learned from these two it, 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 they're playoff games. These these two mm -hmm. last games have been playoff games, they basically have. for us. Um, what do you think this team has learned in these last two games, and what do you see them go, doing going forward? Okay. As of right now, we have learned that we need to start acting as a unit. In terms of offense, if we just let people try to be the star and try to take over, we're f we need them to work as a unit, and we're a f***ing problem. We have a young generation of NBA players right now, and we could be the future of what the NBA is. I think right now what we need to do is probably get a few more players to go ahead and balance us out, to take the stress off of people like Paulo, to take the stress off of people like uh, Franz Wagner and everything like that. Give us three years. Give us three years, and we're taking the championship. We're going to make the heat sweat. They think they can handle what they can handle. They can't. No one is going to be able to handle the magic. Give us the time. Give us the f opportunity, and give us the players, and we will show you what the Orlando magic is. We're going to show magic. We're going to show you what we can do. It's a tough time right now. We have a young team. We still have development to go under, but give us three years of experience with tough competition like this. No one's going to stop us. But we need the time, and we need to stop trying to make it a one-man show because at the end of the day, it's a team effort. We can do this. We can do this, and I know we can. I know we can. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Folks, go Magic. Go Magic. Go Orlando Magic. And we're taking this in a couple of years. People are going to recognize the Orlando Magic as a problem and not someone who's halfway up the field. We're going to be those people.